Hey, George here. This is gonna be my review of the Peak Design Mobile Tripod. Now I've got this tripod as an accessory to my Peak Design Everyday Case, which I've already done the review for. So I'll include a link to that in the description below if you haven't seen it. I'm gonna go over some of its key features, things I like about it, things I don't like about it, how I use it, and some considerations for you if you're considering getting this. Uh, if you've been looking at this and thinking about it, well, then this is gonna be the video for you. So let's get started. All right, so to start off, this video is not sponsored. I paid for this myself uh, and at full price. I saw it, I couldn't resist, and here we are. So let's talk about it. Now this tripod is a ultra thin aluminum tripod that's also magnetic. It's meant to be used with your phone. Works best, of course, with the Peak Design everyday case. However, it does work with any MagSafe compatible phone or MagSafe compatible cases. But if you don't have either of those, you don't have any MagSafe phones or cases and you don't have the Peak Design case, you can actually get the Peak Design Universal Adapter, which basically allows you to stick on the Peak Design Slim Link connector with their magnets here. And that essentially turns it into like a Peak Design case. Now what's cool about this, of course, is that it's ultra thin profile. All right, so you put this in your pocket, it doesn't really add that much more additional thickness to your phone. And you can kind of see it has this taper design here, which is kind of nice with this, with this case because in my last video, I talked about how the Peak Design case around the camera, there's you know kind of this ridge here, which makes it so that we put it on the, on the table flat, it kind of wobbles a little bit. But when I have the tripod attached and placing this on a table, uh, it doesn't wobble as much because just because of the way it's designed. Now this tripod comes with also this tensioning tool right here. It's a, it's actually connected magnetically. And so to get it, I just press right here and that tool comes out. And what the tool does is it allows you to adjust the tension of this piece right here. Okay, so you can see, you can see my mine is actually pretty tight right here. But if I think it's too tight, or if I want to make it tighter, I can adjust it. And there's basically a hole on one side, okay? I don't know if you can see that, but there is a hole right here. And I can just stick this tool in here like this, and I either tighten it or loosen it. And once I've done that, I just stick it back in. Okay, it connects magnetically. And what's also nice about this is that when I do close it, the tension tool is on the inside. So that when I put this on the phone, it's well protected, right? The tension tool is not on the outside. And so the, you know, in day to day use, you're, you're not really going to have much of a chance of losing it. Now, one thing I do have to say, one caveat is that these legs here are not adjustable in, ter in terms of the tension. The, ten this, the tension here, this thing's actually a little bit loose, I would say, but you know, I don't think you really need to adjust the tension that much. If you're just using this as a tripod, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. What matters is actually this piece right here, just because if your phone is a little bit heavy or you need a certain angle, you know, so like, for example, if I had a, a you know, at a very sharp angle, you can see that it's a little bit too loose there, right? So what I can do is I can just go ahead and tighten this up. Okay, so I just tightened it. And now you can see it holds. All right. So that's basically how that works. Okay, so obviously I can use this as a tripod, but I can also use this just as a as a handle for selfie shots. All right. You can do or you know horizontal orientation if you want, right? So if you want to use this as a as a kind of a tool to just shoot videos and things like that, whether you're using the back facing camera or the front facing camera works pretty well you can probably you can probably vlog with this thing right um and again it's like such low profile that you can just keep on your phone all the time i got this with the intention of using this to take selfies when when out with friends or family or for when i'm out on a hike but to be honest i've actually only used it for that purpose a handful of times mostly i've been using this you know like in a coffee shop to surf the web or you know, watch YouTube, things like that. 
uh, because you know it's, it's so thin and light that you know I could easily just keep this on my phone all day long and it doesn't really add too much additional bulk something else about the legs here is that if I fold it up like this it actually gives me a pretty good place to to grip it um, you know often often I actually do kind of just hold the phone like this you know when I'm out walking on the street I'm going to a subway I'm getting onto a bus you know it gives me a nice nice little grip here you know just just some additional you know things to grab onto now caveat here though I do have to say is that because it is magnetic you gotta keep that in mind it, it is possible to you know bump into this and have the thing fall off okay so you just gotta be careful about you know accidentally knocking your phone off of the tripod onto the ground so just something to keep in mind so what do I like about it well I like that it's super super low profile all right, it's, it's very slim, it's very thin. Uh, it doesn't really add too much additional weight or bulk. I do like that the ball, the ball head here is, the tension can be easily adjusted. So, you know, whatever orientation you want, you can do it. Very easy to get on and off. The magnets are pretty strong. I mean, I don't know if it's necessarily just the tripod because I mean the case itself also has pretty strong magnets so that might be a factor if you were just using it you know purely with MagSafe um, I'm not sure how strong that would be I'm sure it's still pretty good but probably not as good as if you just actually use the big design cases now the materials is also very high quality uh, the, you know this is, this is all metal here there is some rubber uh, on the back side so that it doesn't scratch up your phone uh, case or anything like that so that also provides some additional grip uh, so that's also a nice added bonus there the legs here at the very you know the tips are is also rubberized so that you know if you have this on the slippery surface i think it grips it will grip pretty well so that's also a, a bonus there so what do i not like about it well this thing is pretty expensive for what it is I mean, it's just a, it's just a tripod, right? Um, but full retail price for this is 80 bucks. Okay. And there's plenty of other tripods that are half, if not a third of the price. Right. And, and if all you're using this for is for taking selfies or stuff like that, like there are much cheaper options. I mean, I have like this Xiaomi selfie stick thing here. I don't remember how much this costs, but it's like 20 bucks, maybe, maybe 30 bucks. I, I don't know. It even has like a little remote on here and, and it works as a tripod too, right? I mean, it has, it's got the legs, it extends out and this is probably good enough as a tripod. Now, is it as small as this thing? No, of course not. Right. It's like more than, that's about double the height, but you know, you can easily throw this in the bag as well. Um, and it's just way cheaper. So that's something to keep in mind is that this, this is a little bit, uh, expensive for, for what it is. Um, now if it was half the price, then I would say it's a no brainer. Okay. Um, but at full price, yeah, I don't know. It, it is a little bit expensive. Um, if you find it on sale, just, you know, then, then I would definitely consider it. But at full price, I, I would say it's a little bit expensive. You know, because it is a metal surface here, um, and so when you have it on your phone, you know, you're, and you're constantly putting it down on the surface, you know, it does have the potential to get scratched. Now, I don't have any scratches on mine, uh, somewhat surprisingly, but it is our, already showing some signs of wear. Um, the paint is kind of coming off a bit on the edges here. And even on the inside, I don't know. I don't know why the paint will come off on the inside, but it's also coming off a little bit on the inside as well. Uh, so I would say that's something to keep in mind is that um, it's probably going to show, show somewhere and tear pretty quickly. I, I think this already started coming out maybe like only just a couple weeks after I got this. So um, the signs of wear and tear do start to pop up pretty quickly. Now, I mean, obviously this is just meant to be a tool, so. Maybe the cosmetics don't really matter that much, but still, I mean, given how much this cost, um, you know, it is kind of 
in a way in my mind a bit of a luxury product and it kind of just kind of sucks that you know the edges here are already the paint's already coming off i do kind of wish you know it did leverage the physical connector in some way uh, just so that it would be a bit more secure now i mean obviously i know that you know if they were to implement something like that it might it would probably make the tripod much thicker so you would kind of be sacrificing that uh, i'm not sure if that is a good trade-off or not but you know just in the back of my mind i'm just kind of like well it would be nicer if it had a very secure connection so if i really want to use this as like you know a tool to go vlog with or whatever and i'm running around i have I'll have less concern about accidentally knocking the phone off, off of this thing. Uh, so that's just a small thing, but just a thought that I had about what I wish this thing had. So do I recommend that you get this? Well, I think the way to answer that is to really think about how much you think you will use it and what you will use it for. Now, we tend to shoot a lot of photos and videos and you often wish you had a tripod with you when you didn't then this is probably a good idea to get this right just because it's so thin and light that you are likely to keep it with you uh, pretty much all the time um, if not on the phone directly maybe in your bag somewhere you're just leaving it there so you tend to have it with you uh, unlike if you had something bulkier right so like i don't really carry this thing with me <laughs> all the time i only take this out if i know i'm going to be using it but with this thing i mean i just throw it in the bag i don't even think about it sometimes i forget it's even there uh, so if you do shoot a lot of photos and videos and you would like to have a tripod with you then this is this would be a great option so if you're not taking a lot of photos and videos then i do feel like this is kind of a expensive nice to have luxury product uh, it is a bit expensive for what it is i mean like i said earlier you can get much cheaper things that does something similar, you know, in terms of having a tripod. Uh, it won't be as thin or light or as, you know, sexy as this thing, but uh, it will definitely be cheaper. Um, so, I mean, like I said, this is kind of, from my view, more of a luxury product. And if you have the money to spend and you don't mind spending it on, you know, something that, that's very, you know, sleek and stuff like that, um, but that is, probably a little bit on the expensive side then then sure this is this is something great right for you to get i mean i mean i bought this okay at full price uh so i mean for me it was it was a luxury purchase it was a luxury purchase um but i mean i enjoy it you know i use it i use it to watch youtube i use it to surf the web and things like that um like i said i've probably only used it to actually shoot photos and video with like literally just a handful of times so uh, given how little I actually use it for its intended purpose um, it is probably a bit of a of a luxury purchase uh, from that perspective so all right so that's my review of the Peak Design mobile tripod now if you have any questions about this tripod or any other questions please leave them in the comments below I hope you got something out of this video and if you did please give it a like and subscribe I'm coming out with more content like this, so stay tuned and I'll see you next time. All right, bye-bye.